and welcome to the first episode of Oki TV, where we are documenting our homesteading projects and hope you guys get some good information from them. Our phase one is complete here on our hydroponic greenhouse setup. We bought uh, used greenhouses and disassembled them and reassembled here at our property. As you can see here, the foundation, we built up about a four inch pad. Um, we used shale, which is a hardened clay. And you can see there the other pad for the greenhouse that we built up. We wanted to make sure it was above any standing water. We don't want any water issues. So uh, anyway, that powdered shale ended up uh, compacting down real nice and worked well. Here you can see the wiggle wire system we use, um, visqueen and wiggle wire, and that wiggle wire runs in that C channel all the way down, and it works really great. Uh, keeps a very airtight seal. And there you can see our second wall that we're inflating at the moment, um, and it's going to act as a barrier, and I'll talk about that soon too. But here, you can also see how you can do multiple layers of this wiggle wire. You can um, put in one on top of the other, fits really tight, um, and keeps it just um, nice and, and straight, and it doesn't allow the wind to really move it at all. So um, it ends up working great um, for temperature control on the inside. Um, and also that that second layer on the roof is what helps with that as well. And we'll talk about that more in other videos as well. But here um, is our swamp cooler. Um, this is also a very energy efficient way of cooling your uh, greenhouse um, because basically water just is pumped um, and evenly distributed at a very slow rate through this swamp cooler, which is basically like a radiator. It's made out of a paper type material and the water just trickles down through these channels and the air is pulled from another source. So if you have an exhaust fan on the other side of the um, greenhouse, then that will pull the air through this swamp cooler and really cool down your uh, greenhouse on the inside. So here's the finished wall. As you can see, we buried the, um, the, the ends of the wall to create a seal, and we'll talk about that more too. I have a little bit of video here at the end um, that can uh, show you exactly how we did that. So the entry here is... Uh, not We don't have our door in, but we do have the uh, exhaust louver up there where the air is going to be pushed out. So it's at the top to make sure that it collects all that hot air at the top and gets it out. Um, this is the indoor of the greenhouse. Like I said, we bought all of the steel used. It is in... Um, fairly good condition. It saves a lot of money to do that. The only bad thing is you have to pull down the uh, the existing greenhouses normally, and that can be quite a bit of work. But it does save a lot of money doing that. Um, we have the woven paper material, or paper, it's plastic actually, on the floor. Here you can see the air pump that runs continuously. It's going to keep that upper layer about six inches off. So there's about a six inch dead space there that acts as an insulation. Here is some uh, wind bracing. You gotta make sure on these types of buildings you're wanting plenty of support. You don't want to get knocked over by the wind. Um, so it's good to look into support that you should add. Um, this is another angle from our swamp cooler. It's not quite complete. It's not supposed to run out like that, but uh, this will give you a good idea. We still have to put the end caps on. So, uh, But anyway, it's just recycling that water that's there. Um, during the summer, we plan to refreeze big jugs of water and have them in the reservoir for this to make the water extra cold. Um, we also have well water we could use as well. 
Um, and then during the winter, we can uh, actually build a solar heated hot water um basically unit that can heat the water and heat it during the winter so that well that'll work out good we'll have a video over that as well but um anyway that double insulation on the roof is what's going to help us out the most and we'll do a video of that um this is the old video I was telling you about that shows how we buried it. Um, we went through and we buried and we had a trench and we had about a foot and a half of excess material. You can see the woven fabric that we use as the floor. And then there was the side of the wall. It was a continuous piece. And we sandwiched those together and buried them underneath the clay. And then we also had an incline, just a slight incline um, away from the greenhouse itself because we don't want any water going back up into the greenhouse. Um, we want a completely controlled environment if possible. That's, that's not probably going to happen, but we can try to get it as much as possible. So this does make a nice airtight seal and it does allow, it keeps a barrier for grass not to grow. Um, this is the unit we used as the connection on each intersection of piping. These are really nice because they hold all the pipes in place and they really offer a lot of structural support. Um, we also added the one by fours so we could put the C channel on easily. So, and that added a lot of structural support as well. So if you like our video, please be sure to subscribe. We're going to have a lot more videos in the future over all of our homesteading projects. And we hope that these helped you out and we'll talk to you soon.